Hey peeps, it's LaVita from What Can't LaVita Do? If you would like to see how I made the stove top cover, keep watching.
still rainy and, and cold and damp out here. And I'm sure this is not gonna get dry tonight out here. This is after three coats and it's still tacky. And the last time I put the final coat on was about two hours ago. So I'm gonna bring this in the house to dry. And I had just enough to do three coats on this side. That poor brush. So let me bring it in the house.
one hour later. to my counter and it looks really good it's nice and sturdy I don't think I needed the nails at all my no birds looks really good so now let me add the handles Looking good, but one of the things that I am noticing is that the board has somehow warped. It's no longer flat. So this this side is sticking up and it look like it's dipping a little right here. And it's not even along here, I guess because it is warping. But we're gonna make it do what it do. So now let's put on the handles. So last night when I was trying to nail this in, the board started splitting. So I'm not gonna two reasons why I'm not gonna use these screws. Number one, I don't want it to split, and number two. The nails are actually wider than the board. So it will go through the board and have another, probably another inch or half an inch exposed at the bottom. So I'm just going to glue this on. If the Gorilla Glue Glue, if the Gorilla Glue can hold people's hair in place for months at a time, it can hold these handles. can't even glue this in place because there's a dip in here there's an overlap like a little lip so it doesn't lay it won't lay flat against the board oh. you know what what the heck let's go ahead and screw it in Yeah, let's do that.
see exposed nails So I'm the, this gap right here is bothering me a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh -oh, the extra piece of the board that I cut for this part here. So what I'm gonna do is I may go back to Home Depot and have them cut me two pieces so that I can add to here. So I'm back from Home Depot and I got my pieces covered. So this side is perfect. It's flush both ways at this juncture here. But the other side, on the other hand, let me bring you over. Doesn't fit too well. I think as this was drying and the board was warping, this might have gone in a little inward. So there's, uh, I need to cut like a triangle. So let me mark this with my pencil. Okay. I got some lead left. There we go. I'm gonna need to cut this much off so it can fit properly. So I have a little hand saw that I use for my dollhouse projects. Let's see if I can get a clean cut.
Okay, let's go outside and see how everything's looking. So I did off camera three coats on both sides. It's looking pretty good. There's some light spots on the sides, but I think once I glue these to the main piece, to the main board, I think I'm gonna give it a overall one more coat. So, yeah, let's take these in the house and glue them up to the big board. Okay, so the sides are dry and I brought it outside for two reasons. I wanted to put an additional layer of the Gorilla Grill in, in the crevices up here, just to stabilize it a little more. So I did that and then I gave it one final coat of the stain. And it's looking really, really good. So I'm gonna keep it out here so it can dry and so that um, the smell of the stain can stay outside and not, and not inside my house. So I'm gonna keep it out here until it gets dark and then bring it in the house for the final video.